police purposely murdering black people with impunity and getting away with it. On Monday, uh, a Texas police officer shot and killed a woman who was 44 or 45 years old while she uh, was being, uh, he was arresting her and I, it was, he killed her within about 30 seconds um, from the minute he confronted her. I timed it, it was 30 seconds, okay? A struggle ensued. The police officer attempted to arrest her for some alleged outstanding warrants. I heard the police officer lived in the building, maybe. I heard she was maybe mentally ill. I mean, there's just so much. She yelled, I'm pregnant. I don't know if she was or not, but it was an execution. According to the officer, he deployed his taser on the woman um, who was resisting arrest, but as he was trying to handcuff her, she got a hold of it, maybe. That part about her grabbing his taser and tasing him, I didn't see. I watched the video about 50 times, but I wasn't there. Um, he was preliminarily cleared as a clean kill by his uh, officer that, you know, sergeant or whatever who's above him. Um, what did you guys think? I thought it was an execution. I the woman was harmless. She was making a fuss. Um, you didn't have to be present at the murder scene to realize that this was an execution. In my very privileged white opinion, he murdered her. Um, and I'm not trying to just target this police. America has a white person problem. It's called systemic racism. It permeates the core of every institution we have in our nation. And there are, there are few systems that are more entrenched in systemic racism than our supposed criminal justice system in America. The white people in power in America allow black people to be murdered by our own government. It's the same government that black people pay their taxes to, and that is disgusting. How do I know this, you might ask? I'm saying they purposefully allow it and rarely, rarely get any consequences for it. And it's all purposeful. How do I know this? Police killed 1,166 people in 2018. Police killed 1,147 people in 2017. Listen to this. Black people were 25% of the people murdered by police, despite the population being 13%. And I, I think we all kind of know this, um, but there's more. That's just the, that's just the beginning. According to uh, killedbypolice.net, nice name, which keeps track using a database from mapping police violence. One might ask whether police just kill all people, no matter what race they are at this kind of rate, but no. Turns out that black people are killed way more often. And according to conservative figures, black people are three times as likely, and that's conservative, to be killed by police than white Americans. I've heard much worse, and it depends how you're counting. It is an execution they're allowing. And listen to this. Not only are they killing black people in astronomically significantly higher numbers, of the black victims were unarmed, whereas 21% of the white victims were. We aren't good. We're not training our police. We're training our police, all right, to kill. If you look at the overall stats on what people are trained in, the police are trained to kill. It's like a surgeon. You do surgery. You do what you're trained in. If you're trained to de-escalate, guess what you do? You de-escalate but it gets way worse. All these statistics matters where you live. There are places in the United States that are significantly more dangerous for black people to live. According to this database, a black person is seven times more likely to be killed by police in Oklahoma than Georgia. Go figure. Um, but here's the sickest, sickest part of the whole thing that I want everybody to hear. The rates of violent crime in a city didn't make it 
any more likely for police departments to kill people. I will say that one more time for the people in the back. The rates of violence in a city did not mean that more people would be killed. Okay, so here's what I'm talking about. Buffalo and Newark police departments have low rates of police violence despite high crime rates. While Spokane and Bakersfield had relatively low crime rates and high rates of police violence. Let's put it this way. The level of crime in a city does not make it more or less likely that police will kill you. So this is a cultural thing. The bottom line is there's no excuse for the police murder and brutality with the, at, at these rates in America. It's pure and simple hatred, systemic racism, from implicit bias to all out racist, you know, wearing a white sheet. There's no accountability for officers. Less than 1% are ever convicted. This is essentially giving police the right to murder our own citizens with impunity. And that's what we're allowing. And the, the division between certain places that you can live and other places and you can actually survive as a black person are extreme. That means to me, some places aren't even trying. You try best practices. I mean, my God, according to the useofforceproject.org, police departments that adopted the, now get a load of this, the following, um, police departments that adopted the, the following policies had much lower brutality and murder rates. All they had to do was this. These are not, this is not rocket science. This is not, this is common freaking sense. And hardly any of them do it. When a department implements the following rules, this is what happens. If a department says that a warning must be given um, before an officer is gonna shoot, and it sounds kind of strange, but when they say a warning must be given, the death rate and stats go down 5%. Okay, all of a sudden, oh, they have to think. Um, when police are restricted from shooting at a moving vehicle, the death rate goes down 8%. These are not like outlandish things. When police are under an oath to intervene, under oath, they sign an oath saying that if another officer uses excessive force, so they have to turn them in, they're under oath to turn them in. Lo and behold, the death rate goes down 9%. When a department requires, now you'd think they all would require this, but they don't. When a department requires de-escalation techniques be used, the death rate goes down 15%. Of course you should use de-escalation, my God. No, pull out your gun right away and shoot. Well, that's kind of what they're doing to black people. When a department implements a use of force continuum. Now, what that is, is it is a continuum of you start here, then you go here, then you go here, then you go here. They start from least invasive to most. It's a continuum. When they implement that and they make, they train their officers in that, 19% the murder rate goes down. When a department bans chokeholds and strangleholds, they say it's, it's not allowed, okay? The decrease in death, 22%. When a police department requires that all use of force be reported and as a, like a death toll, that it has to be reported, suddenly there's 25% less death. These are huge. When the department requires officers to use all means, all means available, everything available before shooting, 
the death toll goes down 25%. These things are not hard. These are common sense. And I got to I'll just say it. I truly believe that we just don't want to stop police sanctioned murder in America. We love our racism so much. By the way, and I'm sure you know this, this is why Kaepernick and the NFL players kneel during our racist, racist, disgusting national anthem 